to become to be who that I am today. To understand it on my own. If you, yeah, just, receive, if you just receive something as a free gift with no effort, this is what it's written. That you receive the Torah mi midbar matana. You receive it in the end as a free gift. But you receive it mi midbar from the desert. Yeah. I mean only when you come to that place that you feel that you're the mm -hmm. desert that you're totally dry, that nothing can come out from you. Yeah. Only yeah. then you can receive it as a free okay. gift. Okay. I felt it for a long time in my life. I was going out in Motzei Shabbat, after, in, 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 in the eve of Shabbos, after the Seuda, especially in the winter, we finished eating early, family, wife and kids went to sleep, and I would go to do six hours in Bodhidut at night. And, and it happened a lot, a lot of times. And I was going and I was doing long it but it on Am Israel and I was going to the center of the city, to Ben Yehuda Street, to all of the neighborhoods. I was touring in Jerusalem to all of the old houses that I lived in those places, neighborhoods, and I was uh, and I was doing six hours and, and five hours and eight hours, depends Mamash and I but in all of that time I felt like I'm praying in front of an a sky that made out of iron. I felt like I'm praying to wall of brick wall, bricks wall. I, I felt that I'm praying and praying and, and not being answered. This that was my feeling. But but I kept on, on doing it. When when you in the beginning when you see the tzaddik, you see a righteous man, you see a Rav Shalom, you see people like a Rav, you, the distance that you have from them is is it, it makes you scared. It's, it pushes you to despair. You say, hey, what, whatever I'm going to do, it doesn't matter how much effort I'm going to put in Avodat Hashem, I will not going to reach that. This, this is the beginning. Maybe in the real first beginning, you have too many lights and you assume that very fast you're going to become to be like a Rav. This is a, for sure an imagination. <laughs> but after a while, you realize that the distance... <laughs> yes, but after a while, you realize that you're very far from Him. And also the system and 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 the and the, the how you say alcohol, 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 everything. Everything. Alcohol, I put everything in the box, and you're the furthest. Thing reject you. You become to be the farthest person from him, and you see that you're very far. And yet Sarah is playing on it, Mamash. And doesn't let you. Doesn't let you have no hope at all in Avodat Hashem. But after a while, if you have the the merit to be stubborn and to keep on pushing, and to keep on trying, and not to give up, and to say, even though that I'm worthless, I will keep on praying. Even though that I'm zero, I will keep on doubling. Even though that I will never going to be able to fix myself, I will still pray on other people. Why to stop them from enjoying life? So when you do that, you open a path also for yourself to find yourself, to find your soul, to find your, your, your mission, your goal in life, and, and, and you become to be a tzaddik yourself. But all of the tzaddikim, they become to be tzaddikim only because they went a long way in darkness. In darkness. Forty years in the desert, exactly. After forty years in the desert, you can enter to Eretz Israel. Eretz Israel is the, the, the place of the will. Over there you can want Hashem. And there you can see miracles. It's the land of miracles. When you want Hashem in Barach, you have to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit emuna.com.